Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, but some of the wood is good. Today I'm going to make a pendant light to go over our kitchen island. The old light packed up a couple of years ago and since then we've just managed without. I'm going to make the light with segments and then turn it on the lathe, but before I do that, I need to mill the scrap camphor laurel into flat square stock, pretty much the same process as the start of each scrap wood challenge. Segmented turning is one of the best ways to make use of scraps. I've never tried it before, but it's been on the list of projects for the scrap wood challenge right from the very beginning. I used quite a few short scraps that aren't always that easy to find uses for and to work out how much stock I needed I used an online calculator so hopefully I prepared enough and I'll put a link to the calculator in the description. To help me cut the segments I've made this sled, it's known as a wedgie sled and once the templates are precisely made then cutting accurate segments is a very simple task. The original wedgie sled was made by Jerry Bennett and I copied ideas from Frank Howard's version as well and I'll put a link to both of those in the description. Before I get carried away and cut all the pieces I'll check the length and make sure it's close to what I need. Even a small difference could make quite a change to the overall circumference. My fingers are quite close to the blade, I'm comfortable with that but you definitely shouldn't do the same unless you're very aware of what you're doing and you're also comfortable with it as well. You should never do anything with a power tool, that makes you feel uneasy and there's usually a safer way of doing it. I'm just dry fitting them here to see how they go together. They look pretty good. That's the rings cut that make up the sides of the light. Now I need to cut wider pieces for the next ring to start closing in the top. These pieces are too wide to fit between the two fences. In hindsight, I could have built the sled a little bit bigger, but holding the pieces against the back of the nearest fence and holding it tight works just fine. I'm using rubber bands to clamp the pieces together and to hold them in place while I put the band on I've made this loop out of bungee cord. I put a very tight loop on the end, tied it with cotton and put a couple of drops of CA glue on to hold it securely. That worked really well, I reused it for each ring but as it only took a couple of minutes to make and it holds tight I could have made a few of them and used them to clamp the ring instead of the rubber bands but either way works out fine.
I've just turned this waste block on the lathe and I screwed on this ring that mounts and attaches to the chuck on my lathe. I made the light 40 centimeters across, which is the biggest size that I can fit on my lathe, but I do need to round off that big ring just to give it a bit of clearance over the bed of the lathe. It needed some filler here and there, but not too much at all, and overall I'm very happy with how it turned out. For the finish, I'm using a varnish, linseed oil and terps mix. I only tried it recently for the first time and I'm really enjoying using that.
This was a job that really needed doing and there are many more of them around the place that have been neglected since I've started making these videos and dedicating all my time to that. I'm planning on turning some of those jobs into videos sometime soon. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. And before I go, I've got some exciting news to share with you. In the near future, I'll be joining the Makers Mob where I'll be sharing tutorials of my projects. I'm joining other great makers like Jimmy DeResta, the Samurai Carpenter, Frank Howarth and others too. I'll put a link in the description where you can download six free plans and check out the Makers Mob and I look forward to seeing you there soon.